Hello crafters, it's Michelle from My Craft Source. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe below uh, so you can get all our videos as we post them. Uh, so I've been asked the question, how do you put vinyl on something large? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to put a large format vinyl word onto this tablecloth. Uh, so grab you some vinyl, grab you a tablecloth, and let's go do this tutorial together. So I have this black tablecloth that I've folded in half. Um, I folded it in half because I want to be able to find the center point of my tablecloth. So I'll unfold it a little bit just so you can kind of get an idea of how I folded it. I'm running out of space here. Uh, so I just folded it in half and make sure everything was aligned properly. And then I folded it in half. So that the first time I folded it, I folded it in half lengthwise. And then second time I folded it, I folded it in half uh, widthwise. So that way, whenever you press this, this there'll be a seam that kind of runs in the center lengthwise and a seam that'll run in the center widthwise to show you exactly where your center point is. So this spot right here is going to be our center point when we unfold it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and fold it a few more times just so I can have sort of the quadrants of the size of this cloth. So I'm grabbing both my ends, making sure everything's lined up, and folding it once again in half. And to the best of our ability, we want to make sure all the wrinkles uh, are out of it and we want to make sure all the corners are aligned so that way we are getting the true center points. Okay, and once you have that, we're going to press this on our heat press or home iron if you have one. Um, at 305 degrees is what I've preheated my press to because I'm using Easy Weed Vinyl for my logo design that I'm going to be placing onto this tablecloth. So this is a great project for uh, if you have a craft booth uh, or if you do vendor shows. So this would uh, be a, a great opportunity for you to take your tablecloths and put your own logo on them. Uh, so I'm going to take this, put it on the press, and we're going to press it. So I've pressed my tablecloth and then I rotated it and pressed the other side that hung off of the press to make sure that all sides were pressed to get those seams that we're looking for. Okay, so now we have our tablecloth pressed and we should have our center point seams. Uh, the next step is to go ahead and weed away your vinyl and remove any excess. Uh, that we're not going to use. So I have a lot to weed here. So this is going to take me a few minutes. So I'm probably going to fast forward this in the video. That way you don't have to sit here the whole time with me.
Okay, so I'm finally done weeding away all the excess vinyl, and now I've got my super large vinyl decal ready to be heat transferred onto my tablecloth. So how are we gonna make this work? Earlier we heat pressed our tablecloth. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way while I open my tablecloth to figure out the position that I wanna place these at. Now that we've got our vinyl weeded, it's time to figure out the placement for it on our tablecloth. So earlier we heat pressed this to get our seam. So now I can unfold it and hopefully we'll see a nice seam in the middle of our folds. Uh, so let me unfold it all the way. I'm running out of workspace here, so we might have a little bit of difficulty getting catching all this on camera. Okay, so now I got my tablecloth unfolded. You can see the center seam from our heat press. You might not be able to see it in the camera. Um, but it's there. You can see our center point from when we pressed horizontally as well. So if you wanted to place your words or your design, your emblem, right in the center of your design, well then this is exactly where you place it. I'm going to center mine between the center point and the edge, so that way when this tablecloth is on my table, um, the part that hangs down is where you see our emblem instead of the center. Because if we had it at the center, then everywhere we're stacking our items on our table would get would end up hiding our emblem. So to do this, I'm going to move my design and center it to that quadrant we made by folding it multiple times. So this is exactly where I want my center point of my design to go instead of the center of my tablecloth. Uh, so I'm going to grab my decal and place it on here. Uh, and get my alignment made before I start pressing this. So let me turn this so y'all can see it a little better. So I've placed my first word which is my and I'm lining up a straight edge with my seam so I can have it fall along without getting crooked along the way once you get this placed on here you just want to make sure you pressing down your carrier sheet real good so that way it gets a good bond to the table to, uh, the tablecloth so that way when we start moving it around to go and press it uh, then we won't have any issues. So one of the things I would recommend if you're doing this is to have a nice large work area so you can kind of step back and look at your design as you go. Sometimes when you're so up close and personal with your design, you just tend to overlook any uh, error that you're making. Um, so by stepping back and taking a minute to look at it afar, it really helps reveal anywhere that you may have a crooked spot in your design. Um, so I think these are good here with this placement. I actually think I need to move this over just a little bit. So here is my center line that I want to align it up on. So I'm kind of just counting my, my letters. So I got three letters on each side of that center line. And that's how I know I've got it in a proper placement. All right. So this is ready to be pressed. There we go. So now I have this placed properly on my tablecloth. Okay, so now I have my letters aligned properly on my tablecloth 
using the quadrants we made whenever we heat pressed it. So this is my center line right here. You might not be able to see it very clearly uh, in the camera because of the black tablecloth. But there's a quadrant here. There's one right here at the beginning of my word. And there is one at the end of my word. So I sort of used those as a way to gauge where I was going to be placing my decal to be heat transferred on. Um, once I have it placed where I would like, then I have used some transfer tape to sort of tape it down in place so it doesn't shift while we're pressing this. Um, so one trick that I like to use before I move to my heat press is I like to take my home iron and tack my letters in place. That way when I go to move my tablecloth onto my heat press, this stiff and rigid carrier sheet doesn't cause my letters to shift on the tablecloth as it's moving. So because I'm moving such a large piece of fabric, it's going to fold and wrinkle and get dimpled in some of these spots where the stiff carrier sheet's at. So by tacking with the home iron, I'm able to tack the vinyl in place, remove the carrier sheet, and then bring it to my heat press to tack it for a final 10 to 15 seconds. So let's just take my iron and go ahead and begin tacking my letters in place. So I just want to run my iron over each spot of the words for just a second. I don't want to wiggle it back and forth because that will cause the vinyl to shift. So when I get it in the place over each word that I want to bond, I just hold it there for a second and pause and then I move it to the next location. just enough to heat up the vinyl. Now we're going to go ahead and move on down to our next area. You do want to apply some pressure to your iron as you do this. Uh, that helps it get that adhesive that's on the back of the vinyl into the fibers of your tablecloth. And some tablecloths have a lot of texture to them so this is going to help make sure it gets in between each of the fibers that are have got that high texture pattern. Okay, so we should be good with our home iron now. Let's go ahead and check and see if we were able to get a proper tack under each of the letters. Yep, that looks like it did a good job. So now I'm just going to peel off my carrier sheets. So then I can take this to my press and press it for the full 10 to 15 seconds. If you come to a spot that hasn't bonded all the way to your tablecloth, you can leave the carrier sheet on in that specific spot because it'll probably be tacked the majority of the way. Uh, so it won't really uh, buckle like it would have done before. Okay, so I'm going to grab my tablecloth and we're going to place it under our heat press section by section. Okay, so I've got the section that I want to press placed on my heat press. I'm just going to cover it with a Teflon sheet and press it for the full 10 seconds. Alright, once that's released, we're just going to shift this capture the area that may have been missed on that press. And repeat this process until you have our whole tablecloth set fully.
Okay guys, so now that we have all our letters of vinyl adhered to our material, we can peel the rest of whatever carrier sheets we had left on our words. So we finished up our tablecloth and I think it turned out pretty great. Um, so I think you're going to love being able to customize your own personal tablecloths for any of your family get-togethers or your vendor events, craft shows. The biggest tip that helped me was folding my tablecloth in the beginning to get my center lines. That trick is also good for t-shirts and smaller applications as well, but whenever you're doing something as big as this giant tablecloth here, using those grid marks is the thing that helped me the best. Post your pictures in the comments as you make your awesome, great big things. See you guys around.
and it's time to take this to the heat press. So we're going to want to press a little section at a time as we go um, to make sure we're not shifting our design. So at this point, if you had heat transfer tape, this would be a great opportunity to take a roll of that and roll it over your design and make sure um, your words aren't shifting while we're moving it to the heat press.